I'm gonna try. Are you doing Osman primary? No, I'm doing Herman primary. Herman primary Herman. and Osman secondary? Yes. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna do Osman have... primary and... Oh, you know what? We can test this this way. You run Osman primary. Oh, you run Herman primary. And then I will run Osman primary with a Herman. Okay. Because a lot of players oh. say that you should put, you know, uh, like Herman or Pelagius as primary and use Osman as secondary. But I'm, I'm going to say that Osman is going to win because he has extra troop buff with the talent. All right. And my Osman is not max level 60, so that's a good... And I'm only using... Oh, crap. Oh, hold on. I got to send my archers home. My T4 archers are out on the battlefield. Oh, okay. Um, your They're Herman coming. is 60, though, right? Yep. Okay. So, this is a great way to prove it, is, you know, putting Osman as a primary is a good thing, because I got a lot of comments when I put Osman as a primary, and they were saying, oh, you should put Pelagius as your primary, and Osman as secondary. So, today we can try to prove it. What is it? Let's see. Osman... After... No, that's the skill you can... Yeah, so the thing with Osman is after an active skill is used, deals an additional damage factor of 400 on the next turn. So I can do, like, I, sh I think it's that 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 sort of Osman is the, is why you want him second. Thought. Now I'm I'm gonna send max troops. How many troops are you sending? I have hundred two two hundred and thirty six because that's you know okay. that's a, that's yep. with the talent. Yep. Yep. Herman and oh, you have the extra troops. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's one reason why I like Osman because of his leadership and then skill. You know, you can bring more troops and you can still maximize the skill. So I'm bringing 230. That's the max that I can bring. Wait, how do you have 230? Because he has a troop. Oh capacity. yeah, you're right. You're right. So I have but about you, six. You, you brought 236 because you you're on his leadership tree on that little. Yeah, uh, brain fart. <laughs> yes. No, it's all good. That's what we're here for. All right, ready? Fresh recruits. Yes. Go. Marching. Let's see. I feel like it's going to be very interesting because you're going to disable me as well. Yeah, and I, I think I no cast gear. it earlier than you. I have no gear on Herman. No gear oh. also on Osman. I think I'm ahead on um, on skills. Yeah, I think you are too. But I think I'm going to catch up here in a minute. I should. Very interesting. There's the... Come on. I'm confident, I don't know, I'll be surprised, but I'm very confident that Osman as a primary will win because of that extra troops too in the, you know, the talent tree. I'm going to redo the talent tree and I'd like to try it again if we can. Here yeah, we yeah, see. yeah, we can try it, we got all night. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to use your build that you have on your website. On the Discord. I need to double yeah. check what it is. So I'm just gonna essentially get feral nature is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's the build that I used earlier too. So if people don't know DJ Dolmite, he's a 75 million player with you know max tech. All right. Very interesting. R relatively close. I got you first on the red bar. And you know, one other thing is, I have how much troops you got? I have seventy five k. Oh, I've got um fifty two. Okay, relatively close. No, not it's not. I mean, you started out with six k more. Six k more, right? So when you think about it on a percentage base. What are you, 25 now? You started out like nothing. 
So I was what two thirty. Uh, yeah, two thirty. Uh, See so that extra. Were, go ahead. You were two point six ahead of me, and now you are at forty four percent, almost fifty percent more troops, just just based on a percentage. Um, so like two thirty six over two thirty minus one is two is um, two point six percent. So you, that was your that was your troop advantage was two point six percent, and then just now, where are you at now? How many right now, thirty seven k. Yeah, so thirty seven divided by seven. Now you're at five hundred and twenty eight percent more troops than I have. I mean, you just wow. five times more troops. That's crazy, I'm right? Dead. Yeah. And um, one of the thing is, you know, having that more troops. Because you calculate that with the damage factor, so some people don't under, don't get it. Yeah, and that's why I like I like Osman. No, he's definitely a deadly, super, super, super epic. Um, and I actually think with the game going, like I used to hate. Um, what's this? His second skill, where it's like you gotta wait one hundred fifty thousand hours before, you know, when you're attacking a city. But I mean, you attack cities now. In KVK, it could take a while. Like, so uh, after like for yeah. 30, 30 turns, I mean, after attacking a city for 30 seconds, increase uh, troop attack for 15% for the next 120 seconds. And our battles are probably 260 turns. So mm -hmm. you got to wait 30 turns and then you get a 15% um, attack boost for the next 120 seconds. It's true. So as long as you're, as long as you're bringing people to reinforce Osman to the city. That's not like if you're just a free to play. As far as if you're one of you know city crash in KVK, he's probably a pretty good person to do it with. So no. I've got an I've got a little bit different build. I'm just trying out builds now. Okay. Um, um should I should I use the same one? What do you want? Yeah. Okay, absolutely. so we can use test it. One. Now, one uh, thing yeah. though that I want to say is this. Ideally, I would not use the same talent tree when I paired Herman, because if you look at the leadership talent tree, I'm putting healing herbs. I would have gone on the left side if yeah. I was pairing with Herman. But since we've already started it, I'm going to keep on going with it. Yeah, no worries. I'm... I don't want to reset. I'm, I'm kind of stingy with gems right now. That's all good. Because this build was... You know, this talent build that I created for Osman right now is for healer, with the, paired with a healer. With the healing herb um, enhancement. But I run, I'll run um, Herman and Osman with Herman first in uh, Sunset quite a bit if I'm, as my, like, one of my nukers against, like, a... Uh, a tank essentially so I'll, I'll tank a, the imp the first three army like if it's a richard and then i'll have herman and osman as the like second to, to do the skill damage i see oh i gotta hold on a second i gotta heal and this one okay Injured. Uh, okay now let's take a look on to that um battle report Battle log. Get close to even amount of rage in here. Um, troop buff. I have um better archer buff than you, about three percent. Yeah, but that's because of the talent tree. I'm I'm not adjusting for that just yet. I'm I'm still gonna do a skill, and I don't. And the and the reason. You know, actually, I may not do that. I'm here's what here's what I'm thinking. Like, so I don't have a rage engine with um, and that's where, you know, Herman. Like, I don't think Osman restores rage anywhere. I'm almost positive. So, so when I'm looking at at, at Herman, I, if I'm not gonna let's do this test. We got all night, so I'm gonna do complete skill tree. I mean, every point I'm gonna fill up the skill tree. Naked rage. I'm gonna get the latent power and then i'm gonna go all the way up to venomous sting in the archer tree and i'm gonna stop around rapid fire um let's just see see what this does okay all right 
I think I need to be more on the archer tree than I am for this battle. But let's see if the skill tree, when when my skills do proc, if that helps make it even. You had before we fight. I want to look at the report one more time. Two thirty. So, you see, you had quite a little left. 34,000. That's quite a bit. Okay. All right. You ready? Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Come on, Herm. So you went to full skill build then, right? You said full skill build. Okay. Let's see what happens this time around. All right. Um... All right. How are we doing? Oh, wow. Yeah, you're winning still. Yep, that's what I thought. I think I'm going to go with the build you have on Discord. That'll be the last battle with this one. And that way we will have tested it with like, and I'll let me send you the talent tree just as a documentation purposes. Talent. And also, like I said, this one with the Osman, I've not even utilizing all of the talents. I don't know. Uh, I may actually just keep it with the Osman build also because the strategic prolist is pretty good. After using a skill, increase troop defense by 20% for the next two seconds. So that's something that, yeah. you know, it's, it's really good defense-wise. Yeah, um, I, I always on the leadership tree go get that one. I really, I like that one. So imagine, bro, if it was like Frederick, man. I know that's gonna be. You just gotta have that's, the right talents. That's right. I've I've been looking at. I'm working on. I'm about done with Alex. I'm close on Edward, and then because I have a Max uh, Mehmed, I may go after Fred, Freddie. Oh man, because I've already got Caesar. I don't have Caesar at like he's expertise but only at like level 30 so i was thinking about working my my two big like city killers i'm not big into stack. caesar honestly i'm only i'm only into his 15 percent troop cap that's mm. like the whole thing is, is you stack your two 15 percenters up and you can you know drag tons of troops see so here we go let's see if you have more or less troops I'm say you have, I say I have more. I have fifty five k right now. Yeah, you had you you were left with thirty four. Yeah, I'll have more. I have fifty three k left. Yeah, wow. That's with feral nature. Yeah, fifty three. All right, I'm gonna do one more talent build. I never. I'm only. I. I. Do you always set your three talent? How you like it? Um, what do you mean? You know, when you go to your talent tree, you got three options. Do you have all your commanders set? Like, like, so I've got a skill tree, a garrison, and mm. uh, no, like for all my uh, not all. Some commanders, I just have like one that I really use. I don't really switch a lot. See, yeah. I have a different approach than most players. Is my approach is to build a universal, um, universal talent to where. I can use it on any type of situation. That's my goal. Because mm. I don't like wasting, you know, talent scrolls. It's just too costly. 
Oh, I get. I, I those are the only things that like hoard Silent Scrolls, and then when it comes to KVK, always switching um, for the situation at hand. See, what I, I do is I switch commanders. Switch. The, that's the cheap way. Like for my Richard, I've already built my universal build for Richard. I it's perfect. I don't know if you've seen my battle testing with Richard, man. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take a look. Um, I think I was. I gave it to Annan actually. Annan is now using my build for Richard. For YSG, I have a different build with YSG and Herman. But I'm thinking of manipulating YSG in the future. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I just like to. I like to have think through all the different situations and then have them set, and then I'll switch them. But, but I have a lot of like level. Like I, I don't know. I don't have. I've got like maybe six or seven legendary level sixty commanders, and so. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have more maxed out commanders than I am. I think. <laughs> Probably. I'm lazy, I you know. I got so I much books. I hoard. <laughs> Just lazy. You've got oh one out of three on the increase active skill. Oh, so you go increase normal attack of all troops. Yeah, I'm looking at your. I'm gonna do. I'm testing your B. You got one. Oh yeah, yeah, my archer built on the yeah. Discord. For Herman, yeah, I'm I'm copying it, and I couldn't. I had a. a Misread a talent. I had to zoom in to see it. Oh, yeah. And I don't mind burning scrolls. I have a hundred or so. I just always get them because I use them so much. But I've been buying them for forever, so it's not like I'm. Mm -hmm. Ever since I started the game, I've been stacking them up. That's what I enjoy about the game. I enjoy the data aspect of it. Um, <laughs> You're a bit of a nerd too, huh? Oh, big time. <laughs> data dude. nerd. You have no idea. I play fantasy football almost professionally. Oh, wow. It's, it's, uh, it's, I like the data. I like analytics a lot. <laughs> I'm hiding by the trees. All right, here we go. All right. Come in the trees here. He's going to straight attack you. Wait, where you at? Oh, I'm in my city. I'm just going to march towards you here when I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, go oh, ahead. Man. All um, T5s. No, I'm kidding. Let's see. T actually, T5. one of the things that we should test after this is that use a use a legendary commander, and I want to see if Osman is going to still survive. Okay. You tell me who you want to use, and I will. Yeah, let's let's talk about it after this. I don't one. have I don't have YSG, but yeah, let's see. Let's test the Shinchi build. Shinchi build. You have a. Um, I don't know. Either way, whatever kind of you know max out legendary. I just want to see if an epic commander with a leadership tree can survive. Yeah, I can. We can do like a con CC stuff. Yeah, that we can one. do that too. Yeah. Looks like yeah. you're up ahead. I think it's closer. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens in here. Oh, so that's the talent yeah, tree that I that I gave you, right? Yeah, it's on the Discord. Yep, on the disc. Yeah, the Discord one. Hmm, very interesting. You yellowed first. Yeah. How many troops do you have? I should have hundred two hundred and thirty six. No, right now. 
Oh, right now I have, ooh, I can't see, 125. Ooh, I got you by 2,000. 2,000? Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like 127 when you said that. Hmm. It's going to be close, bud. It is, it is. It's going to depend on the, the procs then. So earlier, you didn't have any archer buff, didn't you? Um, no, I, I had some, yeah. So I, you've oh, got you had all some, the, yeah. Yeah, you, if you go to your in-game chat, let me... I saw that now. Yeah. I'm going to just send you, just, just for like proof of purchase. Very interesting. Ooh. Very close. My own build beating me. <laughs> yeah, it looks closer. Let me send you the talent tree build. I'll, I'm gonna put a space in here. So. Third tree, third fight, tree below. Nice. Oh, that was the second one. So this is the talent built. I think we should run this again also, just to see with the uh, proc right oh i think Oops. i don't know about 18k left how much do you have uh right now i just have look at it i've got 13 1 oh. 12 9 i don't know i may be ahead now wait i don't know i have 11k wow this is a neck and neck game oh no I dragged mine. Ah, I dragged my troop, but it's okay. I accidentally dragged it because it's like clicking to see how much troop. I have 6k left. Oh, I've got 3k. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna lose, but I don't know. I have 4k right now. I'm dead. Wow. I thought I was definitely going to lose. I did too. Because like I was, was going to see, you know, because earlier you had that initial impact of damage because I was going to see if we did another run, if it's going to change it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was that, that caught me out by surprise. Oh my God. Wow. Very interesting. Wow. So Osman is definitely a, a, a better primary. We tried three different builds, man. Sounds like, like the, I think the, the only modification I would make to that build is instead of putting pull up the talent tree for Herman real quick and go to the archer tree. That mm -hmm. full quiver, I may, um, I may max out that full quiver and just throw a point into the rapid fire. Um, oh yeah, my my I'm, quiver is not maxed. Yeah, that's the one that I think I would. Let's run it one more time and let me do that. You okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Run it one more time. So you increase your archer buff. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. And then let's, after this, let's do a last one, doing uh, Battle of Legendary. Let's see if Osman can actually get a Legendary Commander up to red. I don't expect him to win at all. Um, okay, where's Herman? Man, my hospital bill, 100, 100k now. 
Wow, 10 million stones. Jesus Christ. All right, if Osman still wins this battle, he's definitely going to be a deadly epic commander. Mm hmm All right, I'm ready. I'm outside. All right, give me, I'm uh, doing the. I didn't. Switch. I don't want to mess up my other trees, so I'm just. I see. All right, so I want to go here. I may really start using like Osman onto the next KVK. Yeah, you may have me leveling him up too. <laughs> <laughs> Getting you convinced about Osman's power. <laughs> That's right. We'll see though. This is the deciding factor here. Imagine if it was. Imagine if that archer has some healing also. Oh my god. That would benefit the talent tree. For the battle for the legendary later, I'll probably do Osman and Pelagius in full cabs. Oh, you also have no Civ buff, by the way. Yes, I don't because I just... I'm, a, I'm a cab Civ, so I'd have to do a... I'll remove mine. So I have no Civ buff now too. So we'll be fair. All right, you ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Okay. I didn't realize that you didn't have a uh, Civ buff. I took them all. So we'll see. Maybe it's because of my Civ buff. Uh, it was giving me health plus five percent. Okay, really close. I think you're about to go yellow. This next skill attack, you're about to oh yeah, yellow out. Oh wow, you haven't gone yellow yet, just right now. Hmm. Yeah, you you're six thousand extra troops and your five percent health. That's what did it. I think. Mm -hmm. I think this is this is my win. But we'll see. We'll see, cause earlier it was really close too, and I come back. Hmm. I have about one hundred and ten troops right now. A hundred. Well, no, I'm I'm less. I'm here at like 102, 101, 99, 97, 97.2. Wow. 94 right now, 93. 91.8, 89, 88. I'm not 89. I just hit 88 right now. 85, 84, 82, 80, yeah, yeah, you're running three to 4,000 more ahead of me. Wow. Oof. Oh, I went red first. No, I did. Oh, you did? I did, yeah. Maybe it's late over here. <laughs> 57, 55k left. 54. 53. Forty-four. I'm at thirty-eight. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely up ahead. Huh. I think as it progresses, Herman has that initial, um, you know, higher damage, and as it progresses, 
you know, um, Osman is able to catch back up. I have about 23k left. Oh, so do I. Well, now I'm at 21. Oh, oh, maybe I think I will lose. I got 19k left. No, I'm at 17 now. No, you're still you. You went from like a three to four to two to three k troop advantage. Here I go. I am 12.5, 11.3. Yeah, I think there's about 1,000 difference this time. 8.4, 8.2, 8 8.1. As soon as that skill cast, there we go. Yeah. 9, 8K, 8.5. Oh, now you're at 3. I'm at 5.5. 7K. Probably this last skill hit from me would probably do it. Or maybe it's one more. It's one more. There we go. Should be this one. Oh, there wow. and, uh... There we go. So wow. The difference with this one is I have 3k left, 3.5. I have I think the the other talent tree was better because this one It was. Yep, no, exactly. It was it was better by 1900 troops, 900 more troops. So guys, if you're watching, the one on my Discord is the one that he used with a better um turnout. So, um, just to kind of wrap things up, let's try, I would like to try, you know, trying to defeat uh, Legendary with Osman. So, kind of motivate our free-to-play players to where, like, can an epic commander really go against uh, Legendary commanders? I'm using T4, Khan, and C. Okay, I will use um, Osman and Pelagius. With T4 caps. Hold on, I think I have equipment on. I do. Let me take a quick. Okay. How many troops do you have? So I have 236k troops, and you'll have 210, I assume. That's correct. All right. So let's go. T4, T4. Let's go. T4, T4. No equipments and no civ buffs, and no alliance tag as well. Now, this one, I will be shocked if I win against a legendary commander. I shouldn't. You can definitely see the difference in here. Even with more troops, that Genghis Khan. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. No chance at all. Genghis Khan is just so OP. Yeah, and with the rage re Yeah. I, I think uh -oh. if it was a Minamoto, maybe a little bit, and I'll have a battle. I'll have a, a fighting chance, but not with Khan. I hate Khan. <laughs> I don't have him. That's why I hate him. <laughs> Oh my goodness, pulverized. But still, I got you to yellow. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not no, bad. It is some work. Not bad, because like in the battlefield, you know, you can swarm with, you know, with your epics. Huh. Well, we know it, and we've proven it. Epics do not stand a chance against a legendary. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, battle report. Oof. Just got pulverized there. I'm almost double your uh, attack, but you've got me on cav D. I had you on help. Um, it was that attack. Yeah. Just... Oh my god. Yeah, 148%. Wow. Well, we learned something. We learned something there. That's awesome. We learned a lot today. 
Yeah. All right, man. I'll sign off and. Awesome, man. Hey, thank you so much. If you ever want to do, you know, battle testing, just let me know. Hit me up. I sure will. You have a good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. So a key thing to understand here is that on those battle reports that you have seen, I actually have a higher severely wounded. So you can say, so you can say that even though I actually won the battle itself, since I had more troops because I'm maximizing all the talent tree and the skills, I actually lost because I have more troops to heal because I have more severely wounded. But also you can look into the way that you are actually winning in the battlefield and you're the one going home with more troops. So I'll let you decide who is a clear winner for you. But for me, I still am, you know, in favor of the leadership pat. And um, I still like them. And I think, you know, people should always invest on leadership pat because you never know when you're going to fall back down into mixed troops. Now, in the video itself in here, we didn't do a mixed troops because um, I wanted to show how it's going to work out with Pelagius. And... Um, I've shown it to you guys on the previous video as well. So uh, you also saw that um, Epic versus Legendary Commander, it's quite difficult, right, to um, battle that. But we were able to get that Legendary Commander into yellow. So what that means is that if you are fighting multiple against that Legendary Commander with Epics, you definitely can bring it down. But seeing that with an Osman and Pelagius, we were able to brought it down into that level right another thing that we need to keep in mind as well that i'm using the cavalry units but my technology is not up to par on cabs so if i was able to make him yellow well if i was able to make him yellow with his t5 tech for cabs imagine if i actually have all these maxed out to 10 how far would it have gone with an osman pelagius versus that Genghis Khan that he had. So that's pretty crazy. But anyway, hopefully you have learned something here. Hopefully you enjoy these type of contents. Let me know, um, thumbs up if you enjoy these type of content so I know how to produce more of these contents if I should be, depending on the likes that you guys have been giving to me. Anyway, I will see you again, rockers. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any suggestion. Um, I would love for you guys to follow me on Facebook, Shinchi42 Gaming. Follow me over there. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, we create a lot of Rise of Kingdoms content here. So thank you for supporting me. And if I create other contents, I hope you guys can support me as well. Bye, guys.